Uh, we're following two big stories this noon hour and things developing very quickly. First, there was a threat made against Terre Haute South High School. We're told that two suspects have been identified in that case. Also, a person ran into the Wabash River last night and a search for them continues. Now, news conference began about a half hour ago, just wrapped up at Terre Haute Police Headquarters, and that's where we find Sierra Hignite. She has an update on both of these stories. Sierra. Thanks, Dana. During that press conference, the Terre Haute Police Chief Sean Keen said that the initial threat made at Terre Haute South High School was made on Instagram, but then later was shared on multiple other social media platforms such as Snapchat and Facebook, which put the community into a frenzy. Once THPD got the report, they said it only took them hours for their team to trace that IP address to a home in Terre Haute, where there they found six people inside. That was three adults and three juveniles, and they said that now, no one is in custody yet, but when they did search the home, they did not find any firearms in that home and that the family that they found in that home was very cooperative. Now, upon that search, they did confiscate all techno technological devices, and they said their team is going through those now. It will take them some time before they get all the way through those. Now, they're not saying whether or not the threat was credible just yet, though they didn't find firearms in the home. They said they still have a lot of investigating to do this afternoon. As a result of this investigation, they have this family has been cooperative. Um, they've allowed our investigators to process all the phones and uh, digital equipment capable of uh, accessing the internet. Um, so at this point, it's ongoing. Um, but what our investigators have learned are with these, these were the only six people that would have been at the home uh, during the time this threat had occurred. Now, Police Chief Sean Keen did say that all Vigo County schools have an increase of school resource officers inside the buildings. Today, they're continuing to do searches. And about the concern of school being open today, they said that the school district has been working very closely with police through the entire investigation in order to make that decision this morning. Now, let's head over with an update to the suspect missing in the Wabash River. Now, initial witness reports said that it, it looked like it was a female that had jumped into the Wabash River. However, a father came to THPD last night with concern that he thought it was his adult son. Now, after the details that he gave about his son, police are now saying that it is likely that that father is correct and that the person that jumped into the Wabash River is identified as a male. Now, the father, when he came to THPD, described the jacket that was taken off by the person that witnesses saw jump into that river, and that jacket description did match what police found on the scene and the father also described initials that may be put inside of that jacket and the, those initials did also match what THPD found inside that jacket. Again, it is an adult male that they suspect did jump into that water who had long hair, which is what the father says he thinks might have led witnesses to think it might have been a female. Now the male is from Terre Haute and crews are still searching for him there. This morning our focus has shifted to a recovery effort and using side scan sonar, we need the daytime in order to cover a, an effective grid pattern. At night, it's hard to tell where you've been and where you haven't, <clears throat> so a more efficient method is during the daytime. Now, multiple agencies are still working on this search and say they will continue to search diligently until they recover this body. However, the Indiana Resource Officers say that it is very unlikely that based on the current water conditions that a person could survive more than a couple hours in those conditions, let alone overnight. But we are headed back out to the Wabash River as soon as we wrap this up. We'll continue to give you updates on social media and, of course, later on in our newscast. But for now, Dana, we'll send it back over to you. All right.